Welcome back. In this teaching video, I'm looking at 11.4 position vectors. 11.4 represents chapter 11, section 4 of the Pearson A Level Maths Pure Maths Year 1 textbook. Let's have a look at the key facts of this section. Firstly, what is the definition of a position vector? A position vector is a vector that is directed from a fixed origin. Consider the following vector triangle. The position vector of the point A is denoted by O to A. As you can see, A is directed from the fixed origin O. The position vector of the point B is denoted by O to B. As you can see, B is directed from the fixed origin O. Hence, now we're going to work out the vector A to B. So if I go back to the diagram, I can see that to get from A to B, I need to do A to O plus O to B. So A to O plus O to B. Now A to O is basically going in the opposite direction of O to A. So A to O is equivalent to writing minus O to A plus your O to B. Now we can swap these two terms and we can rewrite it as O to B minus O to A. So the vector A to B is given by O to B minus O to A. In general, the vector A to C is given by O to C minus O to A. There is a pattern. You do the second letter minus the first letter. So you can see that over here the second letter is C and the first letter is A. So you do O to C minus O to A. These are the key facts of 11.4 position vectors. I'll be implementing these key facts within exam style questions. Let's go. Here is exam style question 1. Given that point A has position vector 4i minus 5j and the point B has position vector 6i plus 3j, find part A the vector A to B. So let's have a look at the solution to part A. So if we're looking at point A, the position vector of point A is denoted by O to A. And that position vector is 4i minus 5j. I can write it as a column vector, 4 and minus 5. Let's have a look at point B. The position vector of point B is 6i plus 3j. So this is denoted by O to B. I can write it as a column vector. So 6i plus 3j is basically 6 and 3. Now what I want to do is work out the vector A to B. To find the vector A to B, we have to do the second letter, which is B, so we write O to B. Take away the first letter, which is A, so it is O to A. So now we can subtract these two vectors. O to B is 6 and 3. O to A is 4 and minus 5. So we've got 6 take away 4, which is 2. And then we've got 3 minus minus 5, 3 plus 5, which is 8. So that there is the vector A to B. Juice. Absolutely beautiful. Let's move on to part B. Solid. 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2. So in part B, what uh, is required? We want to find the magnitude of the vector A to B, giving your answer as a simplified cert. So now we are after the magnitude of A to B. So to work out the magnitude of A to B, we take square root, the i component, which is 2, you square it, plus the j component, which is 8, and you square it. Juice. Nice. Okay, so we can work this out. If I put this into my calculator as a simplified cert, I get 2 square root 17. This completes exam style question 1. Moving on to exam style question 2. The vector O to A is equal to minus 7 and minus 6, and the vector A to B is equal to 3 and 11. Find part A, the position vector of B. The position vector of B is denoted by O to B. So in part A, we want to work out the vector O to B. That is our target. Now for position vectors, I repeat, for position vectors, the vector A to B is given by second minus first. So O to B minus O to A. This is only valid for position vectors. Now I'm going to rearrange this to make O to B the subject. So the vector O to B is therefore given by the vector A to B plus the vector O to A. So now we can input the vectors. We know that the vector A to B is 3 and 11. The vector O to A is minus 7 and minus 6. 3 take away 7 is minus 4, and 11 take away 6 is 5. Okay, so we know that the vector O to B 
as a column vector is therefore minus 4 and 5. Moving on to part B of the exam style question. So in part B, we want to work out the exact value of the magnitude of O to B. So the magnitude of O to B is given by square root. You take your I component, which is minus 4, and you square it. Plus, you take your J component, which is 5, and you square it. So I can put this into my calculator, and I get that, as I said, the magnitude of O to B is equal to square root 41. Okay, so that there completes exam style question 2 in this teaching video 11.4 position vectors. If you found this teaching video useful, please don't forget to subscribe, leave a like, leave a comment, turn on your notification bell so that you receive notifications every time I post a new teaching video.